Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And the way the weather has been going on this season, 2022 and 2023. Right now, more than 25 states are under winter weather and wind chill alerts. A once in a generation winter storm is impacting nearly every state this holiday weekend. Nationwide deep freeze and the major winter storm now hitting the Northeast. More than 200 million Americans are under some form of winter storm advisory heading into Christmas weekend has not been very glamorous. The worst part is it's very unpredictable. Like last week, it was just 50 degrees. So I decided to revise one of my older projects that I had, which is the Raspberry Pi weather station and convert it into a Docker image. This way we can actually just run it off the web browser. So basically any computer can access it. Now, I had all the intentions to build this Docker image myself. It's actually not too hard because it runs NPM and you could just run NPM and then download the Git and run the software. So it's super easy to actually get up and going if I wanted to create my own Docker. I found one that somebody already did. So why reinvent the wheel when it's already been done, right? So here's the Git for uh, Sean Riggs. He actually created this little Docker image just to run the Pi weather station that you've seen on this channel before. He actually created the docking images as well as support for AMD64 and ARM. So this way we could actually still install it on our Raspberry Pis or we could on install on AMD64. So he has everything all set up. Now, if you wanna read about it, you can just go to the readme and he has more description on how to get the docker composed or the docker to work. But for your convenience, I already put this in my Pi hosted template. So this way you could just grab it and download it. So. Let me show you how to do that. Now, I already did this. So I don't have to do it again, but I'm just going to show you what are the steps I took. Jumping into my portainer, all you have to go is into volumes and create a volume called weather data. So you could just add a volume, call it weather data, just like that, because the image relies on this volume, just so we could uh, store the API and the uh, geolocation. Now, moving forward, you could just go into app templates and in here you could just search for weather. And I have the Pi weather station right here. And from here, all you have to do is just deploy because it's gonna know it has the volume there and everything should be all set. If you do, you can go into the advanced option, change out the port or change out the, if you name the volume to something else, you can change that name or also change, like I said, the port because 8888 is not, it's a pretty used port on a lot of cases. So if you wanna change it to 1888 or whatever you want, I just kept it as default to 888. And that is about it. Setting it up is super simple. Wasn't hard at all, but so this is how it looks once you get everything all loaded. So basically you have the whole, you've seen this before, if you've seen that video, which I'll leave a link to, but this doesn't automatically make me a weatherman or a geologist. At least it gives me an idea of what's gonna happen in the next week or so. And I could see how the weather patterns are moving. So if I am living in LA or California, which they're getting hit pretty hard right now with the floods and everything, you can kind of see where the cloud covers are. Are they moving past? Are they coming back? And if you hit the play button on the bottom right, it'll actually generate all the images for the next, I think an hour or two. Just let it flash by a little bit and then it automatically, once it collected all the images, it would just move smoothly across. But Basically, this gives you an idea of is a big storm hitting us or it'll basically give you weather data that you can host on your own server and collect anytime. Now, as far as the settings go, I actually did not input these keys. I think it's Sean um, Riggs keys. So you might wanna use your own geolocation keys and your own map API keys because these might stop working after so many fetches. So I'm just showing them just to show you guys how it looks, but I do have my own keys, which I will be putting in. If you go into the Pi weather station over here and you follow these instructions, actually, if you go back to the main GitHub, which is um, this one right here, he will actually show you how to get climate cell API. Everything's free. It's only got a limited amount, like I think 10,000 requests or anything per month or per, per week. And if you don't hit those, you're basically fine and it uses a free account basically. So definitely uh, replace all these with what your API keys that you got. And then as far as custom starting location, you could set your hometown or anywhere that you want. You could grab that information from Google Maps and get the longitude or latitude. But otherwise, I'm fairly pleased that now I'm able to get that same weather station for my Raspberry Pi onto my desktop and dockerize it basically so I could actually see what's going on. Like right now, Michigan's getting hit pretty hard. 
Like they got a lot of stuff going on over here. We're supposed to get hit pretty hard soon too in New York. So I think next week or so we're going to get hit with the weather coming in and we're going to get some snow as well. But at least I'm able to kind of see when it's going to pass us by, when it's coming in and give me an idea. Anyway, that is it for me, guys. If you guys are interested in the first video that I did that I installed this on an 8 inch, basically that screen right over there in the back, um, Raspberry Pi, I will leave a link to that video over here. And I'll leave everything we talked about linked down in the description below, which is the Pi Hosted script and everything and the Pi Hosted playlist. This way you can get everything up and running on your own setup. If you guys have any questions about this, hit me up on the comments down below or on my Discord. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.